Greetings everyone. So this video will talk about how to encrypt your private key and how to store it safely and other stuff about security and how to store your things safely. Alright, so first of all um, you go under BIP38 tool and then uh, address here you choose whatever address you want to um, export and have secure. I'm just going to take this no label here. All right, choose, and then you enter passphrase. It can be whatever passphrase, and doesn't have to be your encryption wallet passphrase. All right, and then encrypt key. All right. Um, my wallet is actually uh, encrypted right now, so I need to decrypt it. Um, all right. So this is the outcome of your uh, private key encryption. So then, what you want to do is copy the current, uh, well, encrypted key. Open a text file. All right. Uh, name it uh, PyFX encrypt encrypted private key don't make it don't make it that obvious but hey it's just a tutorial so all right and then paste it here control s save it okay and then the best thing to do is um, use 7 zip if you don't have 7 zip it's a good idea to go get it um, I'll post the link in the description Alright, so you use 7-zip, add to archives, and then enter a password. Alright, so make it simple, um, Monday, I'm just going to call it uh, Monday, yeah, just Monday. Alright, um, encrypted, and then press OK, then it creates the, the 7-zip file, delete the text file, and you're all set. Alright. Uh, and then this file you want to put it in a USB stick uh, so plug a USB stick I already have one uh, inside uh, right just this one um, I don't need I'm not sure what this file is I'm just I won't delete it yes all right um, and then copy it on your USB stick delete this and yeah, so now your private key is uh, safely stored on a USB stick. Um, also, what you could do is write down your um, the BIP to D8 encryption on a piece of paper with a pen and store the piece of paper safely. If you could um, plastify it, it's the best. is the ideal thing. is the ideal thing to do. Uh, so yeah, that's another way of doing it. Um, because you never know if uh, you can lose your USB stick or uh, destroy it by whatever way. All right. Um, also, all right. Just gonna uh, where to back up your. All right. This is done. This is done. Uh, actually, no. I didn't decrypt it and it nor imported it. All right. So go back. So we want you want to import your private, your encrypted private key. You go under BIP38 tool again, and then BIP38 decrypt, and then enter encrypted key. I think I have it. Oh yeah. Okay. And then you have to enter the same passphrase you entered earlier. I think that was it. All right. And then this is your uh, not well decrypted uh, private key, which you're going to use to import uh, this address. So and then you can just do import address. And then since my wallet is encrypted still, I have to decrypt it. All right, and. It's importing the private. Uh, it's importing the 
address address give it some time all right as you could see uh, I don't know where the wallet went <laughs> all right I think the wallet just closed uh, Alright, so yeah, that's how you import, that's how you decrypt and import a, uh, private, uh, a private key. You write down the encrypted key here, you put the passphrase of the encrypted uh, private key you, uh, you wrote here, and then you just click import once you decrypted it. All right. So let's go back to my text file here. All right, decrypt and import is done. How to encrypt is done, and where to back up wallet at that and why. All right, uh, save. All right, so where? Well, first of all, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, properly. All right, so open your explorer, um, and then you go to your Pyvex. Uh, f folder and you copy this wallet that that here um, paste it on your desktop nah, I'm gonna leave this open I'm going to show you something afterwards alright and then again use 7-zip add to archive and again, enter uh, pass uh, password. So Monday thirtieth. Uh, yeah. Then there's seven zip is here, and you can destroy the copied wallet and that. And you store again your uh, this file USB right here. Paste it, and then you can destroy uh, this file. All right. So what I want to show you here right now is what happens when by somewhere some way you lose your wallet that that file uh, file yeah all right so I'm going to close the wallet um, pi of X and then I'm just going to destroy the wallet that that file which you never want to do Alright, so when you open your wallet at first, it'll try to uh, look in your folder, check if you have your wallet at that file, and when it sees that it doesn't have any, it'll create a new one. Alright, uh, you want to reveal that? Uh, fuck. Alright, I'll have to fix that. Um, but yeah, now loading wallet. It just means it's doing, uh, it's making a wallet at that file. I'll be back when it's done. All right. So when you get the same error I got about uh, the uh, curb database, uh, what you're gonna do is use the same. Uh, I'm just gonna show you. Um, so the same data, the zip file you had from the last video I made. If you haven't seen it, it's a good idea to go see it. I'll leave it in the description. All right. So as you can see here, I made I deleted I deleted the uh, well the dead file. I no longer have any coins, uh, and the wallet is no longer encrypted. But I do have all the peers and uh, the synchronization I had before. So that's still a thing. So now I'm going to show you how to replace the wallet uh, that that file all right shutting down um, you go back to your USB open it and right, you do the same as you did for the first uh, seven zip file open um, let's do extract here it was Monday 30th for this one I think right and then you can just copy this control C Go back to your um, P 
5x file uh, folder and then you can delete this paste press x alright and restart your choose wallet alright now I have all the coins I had earlier the wallet is encrypted I have all the peers it's fully synchronized and when I do unlocked wallet enter my passphrase alright okay it gets um, unlocked so yeah that's how you replace a wallet that that uh, missing or just added to a new uh, wallet you made somewhere else uh, or on an, another uh, device or hard drive I think that covers it uh, I okay I talked about I just did this I talked about a how why okay uh, for the wallet that that um, the only place you can store it would be on a USB stick so just make sure to uh, keep it safe now uh, you could also use Keybase um, so this Keybase uh, private um, alright open uh, and then you um, freak and then you go you open your USB on a new f window alright what is that that um, actually no not that that one yes alright both you can put both 7-zip in um, Keybase it has um, it encrypted folders and the private one is private so only so you're the only one who can see it um, the public one well it's public anyone can see it I'm not sure if anyone can download your stuff but I wouldn't trust the public one with um, your stuff uh, with that kind of stuff alright so you can put uh, your 7-zip files in your private sys since it's um, private folders encrypted and you encrypted your 7-zip files uh, it should be all good and it's also better than uh, Google Drive alright so that's how you import encrypt decrypt uh, a private key and a wallet and yeah that's it that covers everything I wanted to show you today hope to hit hopes you understood the concept the why of doing it um, why it's important of doing it because that's the main reason of why I, I'm doing this tutorial the why it's important of doing it and yeah